that era after the First World War. It's hard to believe some of the things that happened, but they did. I want to tell you the biggest story about that era because, because I think it has an important meaning for us today. It began in 1919, the story of a bitter 10-year fight that was waged between the rich and booming city of Chicago and a ruthless, cunning criminal. I'm here. Hey, I party for uh, five days straight. I'm tired. Hey, this is what idiots and old people do on Sundays after New Year's party. I'm sitting in the sun, checking out all the things that are going on on Sunnyside, my favorite street. Okay, here it is, January 4th, Monday! This is first day of the week, second day of the week. Uh, new year, new things, new whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing's changed. It just goes from one year to another. Oh, I think I saw flurries. I see snow. I said it was going to be flurries a little bit. Anyway, so today's alternate side of the street parking. You know, the same old bullshit. Uh, we got a... Take down the tree this week. My wife can't, uh... See, I got bad knees, so I can't take it down by myself. I mean, I can help her, but I can't take it down. We're just gonna... Well, well we can take it down. We can just throw it down the... She can pull it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. You know, but it's January. It's snowing right now a little bit. And cold's catching up with us. Ah, you didn't think uh, you thought it was going to be warm, huh, till, uh, till May, you know, April or whatever. So, that's the whole thing. It's my uh, friend of mine, he owns that building next door. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, it's just a cloudy, miserable day. Tomorrow's going to be real cold. Real cold. And, uh, yeah, I heard about Jesse Wellen's uh, mother dying. Uh, she committed uh, Harry Carey, you know. I feel bad for her. I feel bad for him, uh, not for her. But, you know, she's, uh, her pain is over. You know, it happens. You know, depression. You know, if you have somebody that's depressed or has problems, you know, with depression or, you know, stuff like that, going through uh, stuff like that, please do something. Help them before it's too late. It's hard, it's hard, you know, when somebody commits suicide. You know, I feel for him, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm, my mom died of, uh, you know, she had cancer, a pancreatic cancer. It was quick, you know, and I, you know, she shouldn't live. She lived, She died at almost my age right now. She would have been, I'm 65, she was 66, but that was uh, you know, like 25, 30 years ago. But... You know, is you know what? Love your mom, love your dad, love your parents. You know, your sisters, your brothers. It's all about family, man. You know, you're not gonna see them again. You know, all my aunts and uncles have passed away. All I got left is cousins. I don't know a real family. Maybe one, but she's not even family. She's my my uncle's wife, she's family, but not really family, you know what I'm saying, not immediate family, and so it's hard, you know, I have no, no immediate family, I have cousins and uncles, I mean, I have cousins and and stuff like that, but no, no aunts and uncles that I can say, relate to, anyway, this is enough, I'm, I'm just gonna take this parking that this guy sent me. Oh, I gotta get this parking, gotta get this parking. Oh, anybody else? Yo. 
This is what I go through every day. This is what I go through every day trying to find parking. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? It sucks. I get back to you. <laughs> but the shit I have to go through is you get the parking. Oh my god. It's like a fight, you know? I was over there. I was across the street. I had to go around, make a U turn, come back, wait for the guy to leave. And then just now I'm tr trying to park and somebody else is trying to pass me. He sees I'm trying to park. Why the fuck would you try to pass me if you can't? Fucking inconsiderate people. Anyway, why would you do that? Fucking inconsiderate people. You know, as soon as the Christmas holidays are gone, people become assholes. They become assholes. They become real fucking assholes. You know what I'm saying? They, they go back to the same shit that they were doing before. I can't understand why they... I don't... I can't comprehend why these fucking people have to be so fucking stupid. You know, you can't go by me. You can't go by me. You can't go by me. You know, I'm going one way. You come and look. It's a two-way street. It's small enough. It's small enough. I'm got, I'm park. I'm pulling in this way to pull in. He's coming this way. What a fucking idiot! And then it said Poland on his car. You know what? He's Polish. Get it? Get it? Okay, I'm not gonna say nothing derogatory, but you know what the jokes are about Polish, right? All right, let's calm down. Let's get back in the house. I'm going in the house, and I'm gonna calm down. Take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! I'm getting ready. Here it is! Tuesday freaking morning! Yeah, man, it's fucking cold out there. What is it? It's 18 degrees outside right now. 18. Ah, you thought winter wasn't coming with us? Here! Get ready, get ready, get ready. <coughs> Still struggling with this fucking bronchial shit. Anyway, so I saw, I, I was watching, uh, you know, I, I'm into like, I saw Blue Bloods the last five years, and then I saw um, Person of Interest the last four years. Now I'm on uh, Blacklist. See how long that's going to take me. I love these shows. Then I think I'm going to do Elementary, and then there's another one with uh, Kevin Bacon. Uh, I forget the name of it. Anyway, um... So that's what I've been doing because it's cold outside. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? I don't go nowhere anyway. Can't go anywhere. My knees, they're fucked up. I know you people love to hear that. Pain, pain. You know, anyway, so I'm uh, heading to the store early because today's off to the side of the street parking and I ain't gonna get a parking. So well, I'll go shopping first, leave the shit in the car, then, you know, or bring it in the house, then come out and sit in the car, you know, and vlog a little more and maybe talk some bullshit with you guys. And that's what I can do. So I'm heading to the store. I gotta pick up a couple of things. I haven't been to the store since last week. You know, when my wife made me spend a hundred fucking dollars on, uh, you know, for a party this weekend, and all these same fucking people came over. I don't say fucking people, because they're my friends. My family and friends. A couple of family. Uh, my family, my immediate family, my sister and the kids. And then uh, who else was there? My brother-in-law came finally, because, you know, he no longer fight with my sister-in-law. I mean, with my sister. With my sister. My wife. She was my sister. It'd be legal, right? She no longer fight with my wife. Well, they made up. For holidays and uh, who else? Oh, and Huda and uh, and Kel, my my wife's friends from the job. They came over, uh, so you know, hundred dollars. And you know what? I got leftover food up to yin yang in my house right now. Jesus. Eh, anyway, so uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Both Trump. Both Trump. <laughs> No, there was something I was going to say. The homeless, homeless. These people out there in the street, freezing their balls off. The Governor Cuomo, which is the governor of New York State, is giving a billion dollars to house these people somewhere or, or campaign. A, a million, a billion dollars, you know, that's going to go in people's pockets to somehow get these people evacuated off the streets because it's freaking 
freaking cold out there. And it, it is cold. And uh, I don't blame them. But a billion dollars, man. A billion. You know what you could do with a billion dollars? You know how many places you could build to put these houses, people? You know how many people you could pay their rent? <sighs> Jesus. You know, a billion dollars just to New York City. To New York City. To house uh, the, the uh, homeless. You know, you could pay, you could pay, oh my God, you could pay 83. What is it? 80.83. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many people you could house. But you could house a lot of people with a billion dollars, man. You know? Come on. You know, this is ridiculous. Put up some new projects, man. You know? I don't know. But then, you know, people complain about the housing situation. They know, you know, the homeless in the street, blah, 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 blah. And then you put them in your neighborhood. They build a shelter in your neighborhood. You don't want it in your neighborhood. So where the fuck are they supposed to go? Where the fuck are they supposed to go? Where the fuck are they supposed to go? You don't want them in your neighborhood. It's like everybody knows a black person. I'm not saying it to be, um, you know, racist. Because I have a lot of black friends. And they come to my house. But I just want to... Make it a, a statement. You have a lot of black friends, but how many come? You have black friends, but how many actually come to your house? You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Not everybody. Not everybody. So uh, there's a, a few out there that, you know, have black friends that do come to their house. I have black friends come to my house. You know, and, um, you know, so. Don't talk too much shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't talk too much shit, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to go in the store. I just want to rant a little bit this morning, you know, because I felt like it. Anyway, I'm going inside. I'm... Goodbye. Mm, so check them out, check them out, check them out. Yeah, so I, I went to the store this morning, you know, like in my last clip, I went to the store. And... Uh, I thought maybe I'd knock out two, two birds with one stone, you know, like go to the store, maybe come back and find a parking, but it didn't work out that way. So I, I did the shopping already, and now my wife adds to the list, you know. Oh, this is the way women are, man. It's the way women are. But since I got to go to the car anyway, if, if it was like that, I wouldn't have gone until tomorrow if I would have found a parking. But since I have to go to the store anyway, I think uh, I'll just pick up the few items that she did leave out. I was trying to eat a little chicken and a little onion ring, but I think I enjoy it more if I when I get home because uh, it's cold and, and I don't have time now. It's 11:30, and the temperature is about um. 25 degrees. We're having a heat wave. Yeah, man. A tropical heat wave. Yeah, so I'm going to start again. Okay. <laughs> you ever do that? And we'll be out like that and spit comes out. That's the, the, the glands. You know, the, the, the spit glands. Very active in my mouth. I don't know why. I, you know. I have that condition called drool. <laughs> I drool all the time, you know. Uh, you ever wake up and, uh, yeah, I got that condition. All right, I'm in the store. Hey, guys, uh, question, 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 question. How many of you guys uh, watch Angry Grandpa? You know, Pickle Boy, Angry Grandpa. How many of you guys out there watch it? Um... How many of you guys think that uh, it's set up? It, it, they they set it up, you know. I don't. I don't want. I'm not saying they set it up. I'm just asking. How many do you think it's set? They set it up, you know, because um, I mean, Pickle Boy Sisters my is subscribes to me. I, I don't want her to think that I'm, you know, blowing anything, but. It's just a, just an opinion. <clears throat> I I feel I feel I don't know. I'm I'm up in the air with it because 
I don't know. Sometimes I think it's set up. Sometimes I think it's not. I don't know. It's just uh, the other day uh, when Angry Grandpa got pissed off about the pool table, you know, playing pool with his oldest son, uh, Charles, um, he started breaking the stick, you know, he smashed the stick on the table. And then uh, uh, Mike was outside uh, videotaping and Charles was sweeping off the table with a brush. And then uh, when they came back for the second time, <clears throat> the aftermath, um, <clears throat> Mike uh, Mike says, oh, look, you broke the, the stick. And, and Charles turned around and says, uh, no, uh, Bigger Boy says, you got a brush something you can brush that off with? And uh, Charles says, I don't know. I, and he says to his father, you got a brush? And meanwhile, he goes, oh, here it is. The brush is back here. But he was already brushing. Uh, unless the sequence was out of out of whack. I don't know. I could be wrong. I, I'm not putting him down. I, you know, he has a great show. You know, the the kid's a genius. But, uh, you know, if it's, I don't think angry grandpa is as angry as he seems. I think they had a, he's a, off the wall a little bit, you know. But I, I, I think a lot of it, uh, he, he knows how to control. I think he's just, um, I don't know. He's just, I don't know, because... So he, a man that cries and that cares about youngins and Christmas and food, why does he treat his family like shit? It's just my opinion, just my opinion. Uh, do me a favor, comment down below. Comment down below and tell me what you think your take is on Angry Grandpa. Just curious. And and, uh, and uh, also tell me, uh, well, you know about... Gina and Jesse, Jesse Wellen's mother who passed away. I think I, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I don't want to touch that subject. It's, it's a heartbreak. But anyway, uh, do me that favor. Thanks. Good morning, my people. The old gangsters. Hey, gangsters, what's up? The two old guys are here, the two old gangsters. Well, uh, I'm gonna upload this video today because it's Wednesday. Hump day should go up, because the next one should go up on Saturday. Uh, Joe just sent me one clip. I guess uh, he had things to do yesterday. You know, he's very busy, 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 busy. Uh, my wife's feeling a little depressed because she has to take down the tree. It is a little Christmas today. Merry Christmas for the Latin people. Let's celebrate it. Uh, you know, it's uh, a little Christmas. We celebrate it in our country. But uh, Rico, uh, I like the island Manhattan. You know you do. <laughs> From the West Side Story. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, she's a little depressed about taking down the tree. You know, because it's a beautiful tree. We're going to take pictures in front of the tree somehow. Maybe I'll do it with a selfie camera. Because uh, it, it is beautiful. You come to my house, you see the trees. You see, you know, my brother-in-law is walking to work because I ain't riding them. Not that I don't want to ride them, I parked, you know, and if I had moved now, I would have saw them before I would have took them, but I'm parked now, so uh, he's going up the block. I'm parked now. I'm going to lose my parking. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to head in the house. Uh, we ain't got much to do. I think we have corned beef and Corned beef today. My wife likes to make that corned beef with rice. On top of white rice. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm just gonna fart around today. Um, what do I got to do? Let me see. Nothing, not too much. Not too much. Just it's cold out. It's 32 degrees today. At least it's warmer than yesterday. But anyway, enough is enough, it's enough, it's enough. Today is hump day, and I'm gonna sign out because uh that's what I do. That's what I do best. So if you were looking for more, I, I ain't got no more. <laughs> you don't got it. What do you say on the MTV? You don't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> so anyway, from Joe and I, we love you. Happy New Year. 
Uh, Merry Christmas today for those Latinos out there. And uh, I guess we'll see you Saturday. I'll see if Joe can vlog a little bit because I know you guys probably miss him anyway. So, Joe and I, chop it out!